forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got two pieces of spring in this forecast. And we're going to splice them together with a little bit, a little brief blast of pretty cold air next week. But it looks like uh, this big East Coast storm is going to bring heavy rain, wind, and snow off the East Coast. Uh, we'll tend to keep a lot of the really nice warm weather northwest of our area. We still, we've had widespread historic record warmth in western Canada, northwestern U.S. for multiple days now. But the good news is, you know, after one piece of spring, at least we get the other piece of spring next week. And speaking of spring, spring is going to begin here very soon. 5.58 is the official start time, Eastern time, for spring to begin. That's astronomical spring. Now, what's interesting to me is that uh, during the first day of summer, our planet is farthest away from the sun, but it's pointed towards it. So that's why it's so warm. But during the winter, it's a little bit closer to the sun, but it's pointed away from it. So this is not a perfect circle that the Earth travels around the sun. But this is the vernal equinox, the direct rays of the sun right at the equator. And what's interesting is that from the equator to the Tropic of Cancer, the Arctic Circle, you name it, every day is 12 hours. Now that changes come summer, however. That's our longest day of the year. It's right around June the 20th. The direct rays are pretty close to Florida at that time. At the Arctic Circle, it's a 24-hour day. Tropic of Cancer, pretty close to Florida. It's about 13.5 hours, and our day is even longer than that 13.5. The equator, of course, uh, it's 12 hours. So that said, Good things to look forward to. Days continuing to get longer. Notice a few uh, little spotty showers still lingering in the area. A lot of clouds around, too. We're going to have spotty showers into tonight as more develop to our northwest and move in. This is your big area of record heat right in this zone. But as this storm wraps up the east coast, kind of holds it back a bit. We'll get in a little of that warmth, but it'll not completely overspread the area. We're going to have to wait before we really warm up. That would be next week. Nonetheless, 50 tomorrow. A couple spotty rain and snow showers in the morning. And then Friday, clouds in the morning, then clearing. Windy, highs in the mid-50s. There's precision cast. couple spotty showers this evening into tonight. A couple spotty rain and snow showers tomorrow morning, then clearing later on in the day. And after clouds early Friday, we clear out in the afternoon. Still a good day to get the car washed on Friday and Saturday, though. As this big storm wraps up on the East Coast, we get a little warmth from that record warmth in Canada and the northwest U.S. before some rain comes in by Sunday and early next week, then it gets colder. So two pieces of spring. Here's your first piece of spring, 54 Friday, 60 Saturday, 65 Sunday. There's your cold weather. Here's your other piece of spring that begins to come in Wednesday with a high of 53, but a pretty potent cold snap coming on Tuesday with 38. What would be nice if we could get the kind of weather they're having in Alaska, uh, northern Canada, northwest U.S. right now, where they're breaking records left and right. We'll get a little bit of that, but not all of it. Yeah, you have to head north to warm up. Don't yeah. you? Thank you, Chad, yeah. very much.